Hey guys, it's Mike Chen and another super cold day here in New York City. You guys know when it's cold outside, I either have a craving for a hot pot or a bowl of noodle soup. And right now, today, I don't just want a, a bowl of noodle soup. I want a massive bowl of noodle soup. And I hear this place, here they got just that. And when it comes to noodle soups, I've had a lot of Chinese noodle soups. I've had a lot of ramen. So today, I think I get some udon. And I am at Tsuru Tansen. And this name is really interesting because Tsuru is the sound of the slurping of the noodles. Tan is kneading the dough. And Tan is the cutting of the dough. So basically, th this entire name is making me hungry right now. And I'm here because not only are their noodles supposed to be delicious, it's supposed to be massive. So right away, I I'm looking at two things that that's really catching my eye. First is the Tsuru Tansen Deluxe. So whenever I hear the word Deluxe, I, I kind of want that because that means it's gonna have like most of the ingredients in there. And I'm also looking at their top seller, the, the, the spicy tantan udon. And right now I'm, I'm thinking both bowls of udon, and this might just be a classic case of my eyes are way bigger than my stomach. But hey, you know what? We'll see. Because my stomach, it's pretty big. All right, a couple of things I just found out about this place. First of all, you can have different sized udons. You can have the typical thick udon, or you can have the thin udon. And this is what making me love this place already right now. So they give you like like the big bowl already, and that's like the regular size. So you can have a regular bowl of noodles, or you can get extra noodles in your udon. Like not just like a little bit extra, like 1.5 times more noodles in your bowl for free. And they asked me if I wanted that option. I had to ask. They really don't know me. You guys gotta see this. This this is my soup spoon. <laughs> so excited. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Holy cow. This is massive. First of all, it's beautiful. I see tempura shrimp, eggplant. I see a shisho leaf, which is like a Japanese mint. Fish cake. I see beef. I think there's some chicken in here. It's a dashi broth, but it also looks like an egg drop soup as well. Smells ridiculous. Itadakimasu. Ah, oh, it's so complicated because it looks so good. I'm just gonna start with the tempura. The tempura shrimp. This is fried perfectly. Gorgeous light batter on the outside and the shrimp. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's a redunculously tender shrimp. I gotta try the broth. Wow. Sipping that broth makes me feel like I'm, I'm tubing down a gentle river. Because the broth is light yet incredibly flavorful. And with the egg drop, this is just velvety. Mm. All right, I, I gotta dig into these noodles. And of course, they make their udon noodles here in-house. That was a satisfying bite. The noodles are chewy, it's smooth, and it goes down just, just so gracefully. This dish is not just delicious, it's borderline elegant. Gotta have some noodles with the soup. And this is like the biggest bite of noodles and soup combo you can ever get, I think, anywhere. Because you're literally using a ladle. Mm, that's the best way to eat these noodles. Get some of that delicious broth, add a couple of these noodles. You can't say enough good things about what the egg is doing this broth. And it's tricky, right? Because if you overcook it, the egg's gonna be a little tough. But this, it's just so ridiculously tender. And it's creamy. They also have pieces of fatty beef in here. Wow, that beef is so good, it can tell stories. And what I'm gonna do is uh, mix my tempura in here so that the batter soaks up more of the broth. And also, when that breaks apart, it's gonna make the broth more flavorful. It's a, it's a win, they, they help each other. It's a mutually beneficial, delicious relationship. That's the best type of relationships. Mutually beneficially delicious. Relationship goals. But sure, oh, oh, I forgot about the seaweed. Do not sleep on that seaweed. I love how seemingly complex and, and simply delicious this bowl of noodle is. Because there's there's a lot of stuff going on here. You got the tempura, you got the egg drop, you got the chicken, you got the beef. I wouldn't expect so many things to just, just harmonize and work so well in this massive bathtub of a bowl. I'm just gonna get a bite with some tempura, fatty beef, noodles, egg drop, oh, and this fish cake all in one spoon. This is a great wooden place, guys. Oh, look at this. This tempura has soaked up all that delicious broth. Wow, that elegant light batter just catches that broth so well. And the mint leaf, still got a little crunch to it. Just like when I'm eating ramen or other types of noodle soup, I love it when I get to the bottom. Because just like a sunken treasure, the bottom's where all the good stuff is. And in the beginning, I thought, you know what? Maybe I can do two bowls because they're massive. But guys, I'm just getting started. This has rekindled my appetite. This is one of those occasions where the more I eat, the hungrier I'm getting. And check out this bite, like so many eggs in here. 
Look at this. All the soft, silky eggs sunk to the bottom. That's what I'm talking about, guys. All right, let's bring on bowl number two. Next bowl, it's gonna be a little different. Wow, this is more my game right now. Look at, look at, look at how red this thing is. This is beautiful. It's got the green chili pepper, cilantro, brown pork on top. I smell the sesame oil. And as you guys can see, the udon size is different. The noodle size here is almost like that of ramen. I just want some broth. Oh, that's thick. It's like porky lava. Look at this. I basically had to chew that broth. It's spicy, not overly spicy, but it's got a beautiful roundhouse. Mm. Oh, that broth is delicious. Cannot wait to try these noodles. Excuse me while I wipe my mouth and my tears. You need to come here and get this bowl of noodles. The noodle, the bowl I had before was delicious in its own way. Cause you know, all bowls of noodles are beautiful and delicious in their own right. And if that was more like a gentle caress, this is like an earth shattering bear hug. First of all, the texture in the noodles is really different. I mean, typical udon is thick, it's chewy, and you have to try to eat it with other ingredients or a mouthful of broth because the flavor really cannot penetrate it because it's too thick, but this, because this broth is so incredibly thick. The noodles, every inch of it, is just covered in flavor. And the flavor is just so rich and porky and spicy and sesame and yummy. This is insane, guys. I'm just gonna mix my pork all around here. You gotta introduce the pork to the rest of this bowl. It's like an expert mountain climber. Look how well it's grabbing onto the sauce. The smell is so intoxicating right now, guys. As much as I love the previous bowl of udon, this is my type of udon. It's bold, it's spicy, it's meaty, it's fatty. Every time I come back in the future, I'm getting this. Holy cow, this is amazing. I need the spoon because I'm not getting as much of the meat as I want. So let's just get like a nice spoonful of broth and meat. I'm not even gonna call this broth anymore because it's more like sauce, it's so thick. Mm. Oh my God, please do that when you come here. I love the ground pork with a little bit of cilantro and just slurping it with the noodles. This is it. They might as well call this the Mike Chen soulmate noodles on the menu because I'm in love with this thing right here. I wish I had like 20 more of these peppers because I love that sweet roasted flavor. <sighs> Man, this is going down easy. Easy and happily. Uh, I kind of don't want this udon day to end, so let's go check out some other awesome udon places in New York. It's definitely a lot less cold walking outside after I had that nice spicy bowl of udon. And just as the effects of that bowl of udon were enough, I'm at my second place. This place is called Raku, and I almost missed it because, I mean, just look at this. It's like, so simple. So the best seller here is a wooden called Niku, which is beef short ribs and honeycomb tripe. I love tripe, I love beef short ribs, absolutely. So I'm gonna get that. And also, they do have a selection of cold udon, and I don't know, I, I wanna try it. I know it's freezing outside and, and maybe that's not the best thing, but they suggested the jaja, which is a spicy miso pork and cucumber. I'm getting that as well. So two more bowls of udon in my stomach. This is my cold udon. This little mountain here is a pile of miso pork uh, with some scallions and then just cucumbers. And the miso, I can feel it's warm. <sighs> Itadakimas part two. And there's a poached egg here. And they said to put the poached egg here into my udon and just kind of mix it around. So let's do that. I want to be gentle because this, this looks like a really gentle poached egg. You guys ready for this? Breaking open a runny egg is always like the hardest and also the most joyous thing I could ever do during a meal. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna mix the yolk with the miso pork. I'm gonna dig deep. Oh, you see, okay. So the udon here, it's not like the typically really thick udon either. It's, it's more like what I just had, the thinner type of udon. Even though I had two massive bowls of udon already, I can't wait for this bite. I love udon and all noodles for that matter, sometimes without the broth because it just retains its chewiness so well. And that bite was so refreshing because the tomatoes just kind of popped right away. Hang on a second.
I just love how amazingly chewy these noodles are. Noodles are the star of this dish for sure. I mean, I get it, yeah, it's a udon dish, but nothing is taking away from the texture of those noodles. Just based on the noodles alone, this is probably my favorite couple bites today. I mean, really, the, the, the texture of this, th this is like picture perfect udon texture right here. I love the miso flavor. love the crunch I get from the cucumbers. Only thing I wish this dish had a little more of is, is the actual meat. Like I can taste the pork. I love the porky flavor. I can see the pieces of ground pork in here and they taste really good. But it's kind of getting buried by the green onions a little bit. Overall, really nice dish. And after a couple of bowls of udon noodle soups, I think this is a really delicious break. I, I don't know what, what's going on today, but like this is my fourth bowl of udon. I feel perfectly good. Like I feel like I just had, had a snack so far today. I, I, I can still go. This is uh, the most popular bowl of udon here. This is the Niku Udon. What I'm seeing here is spinach, beef short ribs, honeycomb tripe, a daikon, and the broth is fish. And this is really interesting. I got this as an additional topping. This is the mitake mushroom. It's also called the hen of Psa. I'm so sorry I damaged you. It's also called the hen of the woods mushroom. That's, that, that's such a beautifully earthy smell. First thing I want to do is I want to just like take a piece of the mushroom. I want to taste this. Oh, so much of that natural sweetness to these mushrooms. I want this to dive on in here and soak up all that deliciousness. Let's try this broth. Ooh. That's completely different than anything I've had today. It's a little sweet. You can 100% taste a significant beefy flavor in this. And couple that up with just that hint of sweetness from the fish. That's a really interesting combination. These are the beef short ribs. Yeah, that breaks apart really nice. What I love also about honeycomb tripe and soup is that, look at this. It's like every single little crevice on the tripe is like a little miniature bowl. These are the thicker wudon. They're a little flatter than the typical wudon that I see. I think what really stands out about this place so far for me is 100% the texture of noodles itself. These are the most elastic -y udon noodles I think I've had so far. Let me just put that on my ladle, dip it in the broth a bit. Oh, this bowl is so interesting to me because I feel like I'm half eating a bowl of udon and half eating a Taiwanese beef noodle soup. That's how beefy this broth is. No wonder this tastes like Taiwanese beef noodle soup. That beef flavor is intense. That's so surprising to find that in a bowl of udon. Beef beer is fantastic. Let's try the little honeycomb tripe to soak that in a lot of soup. There we go. As crunchy as beefy, just as expected. Some of you guys might not like tripe. I, I love it. It's slightly gamey, but it's perfect in soup because it gives you that nice crunchy texture. Look at my mushroom. <laughs> ah, it's just like completely falling apart. If you like mushrooms, you gotta go for that. I'm almost like seeing the forest in front of my face. Again, just the most chewy, bounciest udon noodles I think I've ever had. Also, what I love about these big spoons is that you can put so many things on there. So let's add a udon noodle, a little beef, some spinach, and a tripe. Oh, happy day. Come to Mikey. Chase that with some daikon. Mm. Again, at the bottom of the bowl, where all the treasures are. After four bowls of udon, I think lunch is done. So let's talk about it. The first place was really fun, and I adored that spicy bowl of udon noodle soup. I feel like for me personally, I enjoyed that more than the deluxe version. So if spice is what you love, that dish is awesome. But this place, like I said numerous times already, the texture of the noodles is far superior, and by superior, I mean bouncier and chewier than any of the other udon places I've tried in the city. So if noodles your thing, you definitely gotta come here and try this. And also, I love the beef element in this noodle soup. In terms of value, I feel like at the first place, you definitely want to opt for the more noodle version. I mean, it's free noodles. Who, why would anyone ever turn down free noodles? And if you do that, I feel like you are getting a lot for your money. But of all the noodle dishes I've had today, I feel like this is the most fulfilling 
one for me. Maybe because it just had a massive bowl of delicious broth. I feel like my food stomach is completely full. Luckily, I do have a second stomach for dessert. But in terms of Wudong, I am Wudong. But guys, as always, all the places I went to is listed for you in my description box below. Thank you so much for joining me on this cold yet wonderful Wudong noodle filled day. I appreciate you so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later. Ah, stuffed ice cream. I'm stuffed and I want some ice cream, so... Sounds good. Wait, how big is how big how many scoops is your is your broquet? Three people. You can finish it. Oh my god. I think I'll just take a snowman. Okay. Yeah. Next time. Mmm. Fruity pebble is really fruity. Love the lavender. Let me do lavender. Um, um, uh, um, uh, you know what? Actually, there's so many awesome flavors here. I'm just gonna go get a bouquet. You know, I gotta. Gonna get some ice cream after a day of udon. Perfect way to finish the day. That should be a song. That's it. That's my creation. Yeah. Wow. This is a bouquet of ice cream. Let me know, ladies out there, won't you much rather have this than a bouquet of flowers? Be honest here. <laughs> so this is just a beautiful, colorful wrap to this awesome day of noodles. But this time, for real. Until we eat again, see you later.